day one just ended and the results are pretty shocking there are some comebacks and pure sadness for the other teams and today I'm going to review the day one of the main event of the international eight so welcome back guys this is Kenneth aka one week and I'm going to review first the first game of the main event uh, Optic Gaming versus Liquid. So Optic Gaming versus Liquid, I predicted Liquid to win uh, in my past video and I was right and I'm right today. What, uh, what I saw from the game uh, it was a best of three because it is in the upper bracket. <coughs> Liquid uh, won easily 2-0 to Optic. So game one, I noticed that uh, Liquid focuses on heavy, heavy physical damage and they're tanky because they pick Lich. Uh, why heavy physical damage? Because of Glinks. Alchemist and Raid King. Those three guys, they bring so much physical damage in in just a short of time. Uh, early game, mid game, and also late game. So the score, 26 for Liquid and 12 for Optic. So easy win for Liquid. Second game is much more easier than the first one. So. So the uh, liquid uh, pick, uh, brood, Matumbas brood, and miracles or Ursa warrior. If uh, as you can see those two, their last skill is kind of a burst damage. So uh, in a span of five five seconds, they just they can wipe uh, the other team. So burst damage and. They like to push, to push heroes like uh, Broodmother, great for attacking towers, and not aiming. And I also noticed that they are not aiming for late game, because uh, Optic Gaming has Pycats PL. So the score 39, uh, 31 and 9, 31 for Liquid, 9 for Optic. So Liquid 2-0, easy win. Next game. PSDLG, PSDLGD versus VP, the powerhouse of the DPC, VP Virtus Pro. Unluckily, uh, VP lost to a 2 to 0 series against LGD. It's kind of shocking, but uh, on my last video, uh, I picked. I picked. Uh, I picked LGD to win against VP in a 2 to 1 series, but this one is kind of hard to watch for B for VP. First game, well, uh, if you like Dora, you should like the first game of this one. Comeback of the year of LGD coming back from the relentless VP. The first half of the game. VP just mauled uh, LGD, but there, uh, but the VP got too confident and ultra aggressive, and LGD saw an opening, and after that one clash, then VP forces buyback. It's it, uh, it's just game over. I don't know what really happened, but after the clash. LGD was too confident about their heroes pushing to the mid lane, straight mid lane, and kaboom. So the score LGD having just 17 points, 17 kills, while VP has 20, 29 kills. So as you can see, the difference also the difference between the, the money and the experience, but one clash, one mistake can end the game. Second game, uh, they let they let Ame 
Amis uh, Terror Blade to farm. So easy win for LGD. Uh, VP just have had no answer for this Terror Blade. Uh, I saw the game twice for this one because which I don't think uh, they have the uh, they have heroes to kill Ame and that just and that led VP to crumble down to this series. So again, PSD LGD versus VP 2 0 for LGD. Next, next one. Uh, Fanatic versus Serenity. I did. I picked Fanatic to win because it's Fanatic. Uh, you have Universe, the uh, TI All Star attended all TIs. Eternal Envy, even though Envy's kind of a meh during the TI, but still good, good, uh, good player. Abeb first at 10k MMR Filipino Fry but Serenity aggressive the gyro and combo the uh, the, uh, the gyrocopter and uh, Ogre Magi combo of Serenity uh, they have uh, ended with fast ending clashes uh, what do I mean by that it means that during clashes when uh, Ogre Put some bloodlust to gyro, to gyro. It just mold the supports of fanatic, even the core heroes. Universes Mirana is not enough, so bye bye universe for now. But I'm hoping universe will come back better from this one. I don't think he he uh, he underperformed for this fight, but. But Serent is just better. I'll just say it that way. So this is a best of one because this, this is the first lower bracket for this main event. So Fanatic says bye. Uh, no more Fanatic. Uh, minus one for the C team. Southeast Asia. So congrats to Serenity. Moving on to the next round. Uh, score 36 for Serenity. 19 for Fanatic. It wasn't even that close. So next, for me, this is the best game. No, 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 not uh, yeah. Me, uh, no, no, no. Maybe the second best game because the best game was LGD versus VP first game. So this one, this one's my second favorite. TNC Mineski. TNC Filipino Pride. Armel had godlike streak. Uh, even a uh, they call this. Yeah, he has some godlike streak, but it wasn't enough. <clears throat> Ninety-five percent of the match TNC controls, but uh, Mineski was waiting for the late game. They let uh, they let they let Moon and uh, Mushi to farm, so it was Mushi's. Uh, uh, no, 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 not oh, yeah, Mushi's Spectre and Moon's uh, Shadow Fiend, so that's good. They just uh, TNC just they had they had great uh, game plan, being patient, killing one by one the the Mineski heroes, but it's hard for it's hard to watch when uh, Shadow Fiends got a double damage rune and they just killed they just killed Mineski uh, and the, and uh, they just killed TNC and TNC was unaware of it after uh, uh, spec after uh, Mushi Specter uh, what uh, haunted yeah hunts hunts all the heroes it was just game over uh, spec was too tanky and that's the reason why they said Spectre as the most toxic hero uh, uh, it's hard for me to watch I'm feeling sad right now because no more Filipino teams but that's okay that's life 
Next, uh, okay, score 17 for TNC, uh, 17 for Mineski, and 29 for TNC. So, as you can see, Mineski was down uh, around 20,000 gold deficit, and after the two clashes, they just they just win, they just easily win. Next one, newbie versus win strike. Uh, I I didn't expect non grata to destroy a gyrocopter, so clockwork destroyed a gyrocopter uh, at the top. So SC, uh, I also noticed that S triple C cannot kill the Phantom Lancer. It was just too fat early in the game and also too tanky so s triple t is dk i think it was a fair fight so dk versus pl it was an okay fight but pl was just too tanky for for this dragon knight and the clockwork just destroyed the gyrocopter so the off laner just destroyed the safe lane hero the carry of the team it was sad for Mugi. Uh, also, uh, last year's TI, he was crying because he blamed himself for underperforming during the finals. And this one, I think Mugi also underperformed. But uh, I'm hoping you get to get a great comeback. So, Fate, sorry, you're not going to get another Aegis for now. So and the last uh, last game, uh, okay score. Win strike forty three, newbie forty one. A good fight and last fight of the day. Vici Gaming versus Vici Gaming. VGJ Thunder. So two v uh, Vici Gaming. Uh, I saw that Vici Gaming was patient. All throughout the all throughout the game, slow paced fight. They whenever uh, VGJ Thunder tries to initiate a clash, they just run away and pick one by one of he, of each heroes, and it's kind of a boring fight because yeah, just like I said, it was slow paced, but it was tactical compared to other games. And they pick simple clashes, just like two versus two clashes, three versus two, just like that. Uh, in the end, 16 for Vici J Thunder and 31 for Vici Gaming. So after this game one, we say goodbye to Fnatic C team, TNC another C team. So Mineski is the only C team who can grab the ages, the ages of champions. No more fanatic TNC newbie, the last year's runner up. Uh, it was unexpected and for me, kind of an upset because Wind Strike nobody knows Wind Strike. Like, it was a new, newly formed team, but they're motivated and they're determined. So, goodbye, newbie and VGJ Thunder. As you can see, VGJ Thunder has DDC. He also attended all the TIs, but it wasn't enough for this one. So tomorrow, uh, Liquid will fight against. Uh, no, no, no. I, I don't. Ah, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe Liquid will fight against LGD, and the VP will take on Mineski. And I'm, I'm not sure, but. I'm going to show you the standings and that's it guys for today I'm going to upload another uh, another one for the day 2 tomorrow so thank you guys for watching see you soon one week out peace